The Add Edit Multiple List Entries feature in QuickBooks Enterprise Step 1 Opening the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. Access the Add Edit Multiple List Entries feature. First, navigate to the top of the menu bar and click on List. From the drop down menu, select Add Edit Multiple List Entries. Step 2 Choose the list type. At the top of the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window, you will see a drop down menu labeled List. Click on this menu to select the type of list you want to add or edit. Step 3 Customizing the columns to customize your spreadsheet. Click on the Customize Columns button at the top right of the window. In the Customize Columns window, you can add or remove columns. You can also change the order of the columns by selecting a column in the chosen columns list and using the move up or move down buttons. Choose default to go back to the original column format. Once you have customized the columns to your preference, click OK to apply the changes. Step four, adding new entries. To add new entries, scroll to the bottom of the list where you will find blank rows. Enter the data for each new entry in the appropriate columns. Step 5. Editing existing entries. To edit existing entries, first locate the entry to edit, scroll through the list, or use the search function at the top right of the window to find the entry you want to edit. Click on the cell you want to edit and enter the new data. After making the necessary updates, click the Save Changes button at the bottom right of the window, Step 6, Using Filters. To narrow down the list and focus on specific entries, use the filter options at the top of the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. Click the View drop-down menu and select your filter criteria. With Custom Filter, you can search by a more specific set of criteria. Enter the field you want to search within and in the For box, enter your item information. Choose Go. Step 7. Finalizing your changes. Before finalizing your changes, review the data to ensure accuracy. Click the Save Changes button 